Winters are usually the time to get organized, right? At least for me, it is. I'm very much motivated to purge, declutter and organize my stuffs in winter. And in that falls my seed collection too. Currently, I store my seeds in a cardboard box, but I've been looking into much more stabler systems in order to organize them. I don't need these huge photo box systems that most of the gardeners with a big garden are using because I don't have that many seeds. I have a smaller collection because I have a small garden. But I need a simpler system which allows me to easily access the seeds, organize them and also is easy to carry around. In this video, I'll show you an idea to store the seeds in a much more simpler way. I saw this idea on Instagram and it looks very easy to maintain. Today, we'll go through my seed collection, do some decluttering, organize them because it is time to get started with the seed sowing soon. This is going to be a chatty video. So if you're not interested to go through the seed sorting process, please skip to the end of the video where I show the seed storage system. So let's get started. So currently this is my seed storage setup. It's a normal Amazon carton with some dividers which I made for myself. The vegetables are categorized based on their type. For example, here I have lettuce, Swiss chard, radish, carrots, beetroots and it goes like that. That is on one side and on the other side I have some beans and these are spinach seeds. These are also grouped together. And then I have some loose seeds which does not have a category yet. That's some pak choy and broccoli. Added to that, I also have a separate storage for my flower seeds. So yeah, these are from the garden centers and I also have flower seeds which I have collected from my garden. So everything is here. So this method works but as you can see this is not so stable. In case it falls down then I lose all the organization in it. So it's very unstable here and if I misplace any of these labels the organization is gone. So I wanted a bit more stable system. I got the salmon colored binder from Amazon. And I also got some sleeves like this. These are the uh, sleeves with four pockets in them. So in each pocket, I plan to put one seed packet, maybe front and back that we have to see how it turns out. First, let us put these sleeves into this binder and then we'll start organizing the seeds. And I also have some labels here. I don't know which one will be useful. So I brought everything that I had. First, I'll be putting the vegetable seeds and towards the end, I'll put the flower seeds. So I'm also trying to organize it based on the month of sowing. So I know that first ones to go will be the chilies. That is how I am planning to organize my seed packets. So here we have all the chilies. Next, let me try if I can fit some to the back side or should I stick one seed for one crop? Yeah, let's go this way. I'll use one file for one category so that I can also see the back of the seed packets. And I think that will be beneficial to see when it has to be sown and how long it takes to germinate, etc. So I think it is good that these are clear sheets with the back visible. Next ones in the queue would be the tomatoes. Next one would be coriander and uh, other herbs that I have. I also tried labeling as I organized my seeds but later I decided for another labeling system which I did after the seed sorting process. So the labels that you see here might not be the ones that you see at the end. So these are the aubergine seeds I have. Somehow aubergines have not worked very well in my garden. I don't know why, but somehow I'm not giving it the right conditions to grow. And once they grow, it is already autumn season and they don't have the time to fruit. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Care seems to be very much similar to chilies and tomato. Only thing is that the aubergines need much more warmer weather. I'll try this time as well if I can get it right. Otherwise, I'll maybe quit aubergine because i've been trying for past three years and it has not worked very well i have seen other gardeners cracking it very easily but aubergine somehow is not an easy vegetable for me to grow next are the brussels sprouts these are the violet kohlrabi or purple kohlrabis Sometimes, you know, I forget I have a small garden and I buy all kinds of seeds 
and in 2022 i think i went crazy so these are cauliflower i have four seed packets i think this is purple cauliflower so i would like to try that this year and these are green cauliflower before the brassicas comes the lettuces let's categorize it that way all the salad greens i'll group them together and put it before brassicas and i'll pull them out and put them before the brassicas because they have to go in the spring not the brown maybe i have to bring the carrots and beetroots also here spinach as well so i like this organizer already because i'm able to quickly reorganize them that's a good thing so maybe i'll put swiss chard along with radishes so i'm not a big fan of radish i'm a fan of growing them i like how beautiful they look and they're ready to harvest but i don't like having them so i'm just growing it only for the beauty i think these seeds are really old because i remember clearly that they did not germinate very well so i'll just discard them carrots and i have a love hate relationship sometimes they work very well for me and sometimes i don't know something else happens or maybe i'll pull them a bit earlier than it is supposed to be because i don't have that much patience and carrot i feel like they sit in the garden for a long time yeah sometimes i feel like pulling them and see if they are ready or not i know that's not a good thing to do maybe i'll put this card over here so that seed from the sleeve below is not visible here and it's only carrot that we see i think i need to find a better method for this just a piece of paper is enough actually to hide what is underneath currently i have cardboard maybe i'll change them later to normal papers because it just looks a bit ugly i don't know <laughs> it's personal category are the summer vegetables so i have cucumber so i'll maybe categorize cucumbers and zucchinis together so i have zucchinis the normal zucchini which is called black beauty i think and the other one is the patty pan zucchini the one that is in a round shape this year i'll try to grow more okra because i like having okras and it's not something that you get easily in germany i have to go to the indian supermarket in order to get some okras so it's nice if you have some growing in the garden then the next seeds i have in bitter gourds since i do not, I do not give proper trellises to my plants the bitter gourds have not been quite a big success but i see them they have the potential to be a success in my garden because if given a proper trellis i know that they'll produce a lot and that's what i'm trying to do this year next are the watermelons so here are the spinach there are a lot of seeds here and i know some of them are really old so maybe i'll discard them so these are the spinach varieties that i sow every year these are the metador variety and they do very well in my garden these are indian spinach varieties and i like to grow them and then i have malabar spinach next we have the last category of vegetable which are the beans so even though I do not give them proper trellis. Maybe you have seen in my videos. I have a lot of ideas in the beginning to for trellises for beans, and nothing works out somehow. So this time I'm not going to DIY or anything, and I'm going to buy some proper trellises. So now we are done with the vegetables. Let us now move to the flower seeds. 
I've not tried much with flowers in my garden because I was not a big fan of flowers. I don't know why. I want, always wanted to have a vegetable garden, but not so crazy about flowers. But these days, I like to make my garden prettier. So for that, we need flowers. Summer marigold, these are big ad marigold that you see in India and these are French marigold, the smaller ones. So I'm just wondering maybe I'll fit everything together. I know what they are. The next will be sunflower, which I am definitely planning to grow. It's uh, the cosmos. Then I have calendula. I don't know if I'm not a big fan of marigold and calendula, honestly speaking, but I know that they attract a lot of pollinators, so that's the only reason I grow them. They're so bright, and I like more subtle colors like uh, the pink, the, the snapdragons that you see here, or these colors. Yeah, these are my colors, not the bright yellow or orange. Yeah, I still have black eyed Susan, but that's somehow looks prettier but i don't know somehow marigold is not my favorite and these are some borage i had borage in my 2022 garden but yeah they were very invasive to be honest and they also self-seeded and a lot of them popped up the next season which is good but i have a small space so i don't know if i can fit everything so that is it i think we're done with the seed sorting then now what is left is the labeling part so I'll do that now, I'll remove these cardboards, I have a better idea and then we'll meet. So I've organized and categorized my seeds. I've also added labels to the system, so let's take a look at it. The first sleeve is a sleeve where I store all the markers and the labels. I have also inserted some blank papers, which I'll show in a bit. And there is also a key here. So. I can show you what I've done with the labeling. So here, when you see, I don't know if the color is visible. So all the seeds have been categorized according to their type. So this is chili, this are aubergine, these are coriander and chamomile. We have tomatoes here and likewise it goes on. And the color of the label indicates the month of sowing. So that is what the key tells us. I have four major months where I'll be sowing a lot of seeds, that is, from February, March, April, and one in June. And June sowing will be mostly for the fall and winter vegetables, basically the brassicas. So these are the major months where I'll be sowing seeds. There can also be some succession sowing or planting depending on when the garden becomes empty, but that is not included in the key. Yeah, so from this, I can know that which month I need to sow with seeds and it becomes easy. I don't have to check any calendar, all the information is already there in the seed organizing system and I like that about it. Here I have also added some blank papers in order to make the small packets visible and also wherever there is a blank pocket I've inserted this blank paper. It's totally personal preference and I like it this way that the seeds from the seed sleeves below are not visible. Yeah and then at the end I've added the flower seeds as we have seen before. So that is also categorized based on the month of sowing. So these are the ones I'll be sowing in February. Then this, these are in March and the rest of them are in April. You can extend this labeling system based on the place of sowing as well. So that is also an important information that we need while sowing seeds. So for example, chili, tomatoes need to be started indoors. At least if you are living in cold countries, there are some crops like lettuce or radishes or carrots, which can be directly sown outdoors, even during the cold months. This is also an information that you can add to the seed organizing system. I know from my previous years of gardening, which seeds need to be started indoors and which can be directly sown outdoors. So that information was not necessary for me, but you can very well extend the system with that information as well. I'm also planning to map out my garden in the coming weeks to have a rough idea of what crops will go where in my garden. That's important, I feel, when you have a small space and also when you have a large space in order to know how the space is being utilized, what are the crops that we can fit in this year and how many seeds need to be sown accordingly. I'll add this information as well to the system so that everything is in one place. Maybe let me see if I can make a video on that.
so that is basically it so what do you think about this system i'm very much impressed by it this allows us to see clearly what is stored and especially read the back of the seed packet where usually a lot of information about sowing and planting are given this also allows us to categorize based on the variety of seeds and also the month of sowing, the place of sowing, whether it needs to be started indoors or outdoors. And you can pack as much information as you need just by adding more clear sheets or papers to it so that we have everything in one place. And I also like the fact that it can be reorganized very easily just by lifting one sheet and placing it somewhere. We can also carry if I need to maybe sow only spinach. I can lift this sheet alone, take it to my garden and finish the process and bring it back or you can carry it around as such it's not very heavy it's very easy to carry around so that is also possible the basic supplies needed can also be added as a sheet which makes it perfect and it is going to take very less space in my cupboard when compared to the previous system I had. I'm not sure if the organization that I've done with the labels is going to stay as such as the garden season becomes busy and we start working with it, but I hope so. At least for now, it feeds the part of my brain where everything needs to be organized. I'll soon be starting February sewing. Let me know if you need a video on that. I've done videos previously on my channel showing what needs to be sewn every month. I link that playlist below the video. I also have a monthly and yearly calendar which you can download for free that link will also be there in the description below my website was down for a while i got your comments that you were not able to download the pdfs so now it should be up and running so you can go ahead and download it i hope this video was useful to at least some of you who has a smaller collection of seeds like mine all the supplies needed for this system will be linked in the description below i'll see you in the next video until then bye and take care